Hello and welcome to Just Ring in South Africa with your host Biggles. As the title suggests, we will be doing Need for Speed 2000 Porsche Unleashed. In my humble opinion, this is definitely one of the best Need for Speed games ever produced. It came out in the year 2000. This game is certainly one of the best simulators I've actually played. Uh, it actually includes things like headlights and hazard lights and indicators, which as far as I can remember, I've never played another game that does that. That said, I don't know if there are any other simulation games that have those options. The actual physics, however, are found to be pretty decent. And as you can see, there were a lot of options to choose from in the game. You could modify the car quite a lot and do quite a bit to the car. The setup was pretty extensive. And of course, it did have a pretty decent damage model as well. All right, I think let's go and have a race, shall we? Get the lights and hazards on. Always do that. Not my best pull away. Ah, doesn't really matter. I will easily overtake. Shortcut. That's another thing I liked about this game is you could take shortcuts. If I remember correctly, quite a few Need for Speed games before this had a lot of shortcuts in the races. So I am using a Logitech Extreme 3D Pro joystick for this. I do the accelerator and braking on the slider and of course manual gearbox. I must say when I had this game many years ago I think I actually had it in 2000 really. I only had a keyboard and that made it very challenging to actually race. I found it so much easier being able to control your power and how sensitive your steering is and how sensitive your braking is, like the real thing. And no, in racing you don't have to have your foot down all the way, all the time. It doesn't work like that. You can easily lose control, especially around corners. I can tell you this, it's definitely a smoother ride. a little bit off the 
Torbe. After you cross the finish line, you have zero control. You won the race. Let's watch the replay. That's another thing I really loved about this game is the replay was pretty awesome. Now I have been doing the factory driver as well. However, for some reason the current mission I'm on keeps on crashing. I have no idea why. I'm going to keep on trying to get beyond it. But yeah, that seems to be a big problem. I do have this on absolute maximum difficulty and I find the AI at this stage of the game is very easy to defeat. So what I realized, the physics in this game is realistic enough to be able to actually use real life methods to do specific stunts such as the 180 and 360, the J maneuver, blah blah, all of that. Uh, even in terms of recovering from using control and even drifting for that matter you use the same techniques in real life as you do in this game and that to me is a very big positive a lot of games in this era were struggling a lot with physics um, and that's fine you know it's progress today's games you can do it a lot more easily you know it's done more more realistically now as well and I find the more realistic in my opinion is easier than less realistic because I'm so used to realism regarding that statement I just made I'm curious to know what you guys think feel free to leave a comment below and let's have a good debate about this That was a good race. I actually really enjoyed that. Let me tell you a little bit of a secret for this game. If you're low on cash and you need to make some extra money without actually racing, go and buy a damaged used car. The older the car, the better actually. There's usually quite a lot of options available and you can buy and sell as much as you me too. So I'm gonna take this one. Now check that out. Check the current value. Repair. It's not that expensive. And then check what your new value is. Do the math. Put in the offer. 
and top it in. And voila! There you have it. You've just earned quite a penny there. And that will do it for today's video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, click on notifications and share. You are appreciated and noticed. See you next time.